Hello Christian sisters, Sister Debbie from Don'tPerish.com. I hope you're having a joyous day in the Lord. We've been working all day and it's almost evening time. We'll be fellowshipping with a brother pretty soon, but I wanted to get out here and make a quick video for you on saving money. I believe I'm at number three right now and that would be, let's see, sales and discounts. So first I'll go through food and how we save money on in, through sales and discounts. Well, most of you are probably aware that I would say almost every grocery store out there has weekly sales. They either send out something in the mail, a flyer in the mail, or you can go on the website and see what they have. And then you can, I'm a little out of breath, sorry, I've been walking. And then you can compare pricing. And what you can do, what I recommend people do is make a list of what you could do for meals that are on sale instead of seeing what's on sale for the list of the meals you want to make. What that does is, number one, it can be kind of a challenge to try to do that. But it saves you a lot of money because if you see what's on sale, then you formulate your meals around it, you're going to save a lot more money than if you just go in there with a list already in your mind and buying from that. So hopefully that one helps you. Um, there's also websites that you can print coupons, take them into the stores. There's uh, apps on phones that you use coupons and there are some places that you can get a cash rebate if you purchase online depending on what you're looking for so I would say most grocery stores that I've come across when we're out traveling on the, on the road for the summer mission trip is many of them have a discount place with inside within their store Usually they're like tucked away in a corner. I would say for the most part, most grocery stores have a discounted like dairy section, meat section, produce section, um, and like a pantry or staples section, you know, boxes and cans and stuff. Not all of them. Now, if you live in a town and you have several grocery stores, you can, or any of them, doesn't matter how many you have, you can just give them a call and ask them if they do things like that and what days they do it on. And there's nothing wrong with that then you could maybe plan your trips accordingly so when you're already in the grocery store getting your sales and your discounts you can go look for those discounted foods I'm gonna say when we're out on the road oftentimes we're in Walmart but we do hit some of the local grocery stores and I would say probably 75 percent of the food that we eat when we're out on our mission trip all summer is already discounted so out of the other 25%, I would say 15 to 20% of them, I use coupons uh, through my, I have an app on my phone, well, several apps that I can use coupons, and I kind of connect them with the sales and stuff, so that helps. And that leaves a very small percentage that I'm paying full price. And even then, um, we're pretty economical on what we buy. If, if there's items that are really pricey and we don't need them to survive, I just don't buy them. So those are some simple ways to save some money. Another way that we save money is, I've done some videos on them. Uh, you can call them dent and bents, or people say bent and dent. Salvage goods, discount groceries, damaged goods, extreme bargains, banana box stores. What those are, are there are stores out there who do not mark their food down. And they throw it in banana boxes and then they send it off to somewhere else. And then somebody who has a store of damaged goods marks them at incredibly low prices. And so as we're traveling, I kind of map our route and I see where we're going, see if there are any in the area. And then we kind of go stock up on whatever we find and that's what we eat. So we're pretty, pretty flexible when it comes to our food. We're not picky. I do try to keep everything natural, not, not all organic, but if it's organic, I'll buy it. Just as plain and simple and natural as possible without fretting over it and without spending excessive money. So we eat very healthy, very economical, and those are some of the biggest ways we save money when it comes to sales and um, discounts. So if we want to look at hardware goods like non-edible goods, household goods, clothing, things like that. We primarily shop in resale shops or thrift stores, consignment shops. Sometimes uh, people call them liquidators. You know, it's where there are house or, uh, um, warehouses out there 
where, like, say, a big box store will get a damaged pallet full of, I don't know, shoes or baking pans or who knows what it is. And they end up damaging it, so they write the whole pallet off and they send it to one of these stores and the stores mark them for, like, a couple bucks a piece, whereas they could be, like, 20 or $30 items. So those, those are kind of the, the sales that we look for. For the most part, we don't buy a whole lot brand new unless it's, like, Mm, personal things, you know, and things that might need a little bit more quality, Jim's tools, maybe some um, kitchen wares, you know, something that you want durability and something that will last. But for the general part, I would say 80% of what we buy is resale, reused, repurposed. In fact, that's how we did most of our house down in Missouri, is repurposed materials. So these are just some ideas that you could use to save money, they're not like that incredibly brilliant. They're, a lot of them are common sense, but I'm just throwing this out there because maybe some people hadn't thought about this. I'm sure there are women out there who are very, very young, coming out of households where they were never taught any of this stuff. So if you're out there and you're listening, I hope some of this helps you. And I guess off the top of my head, I can't think of anything else, and it won't be too long. I'll be coming up with the next number four. I don't know what it is, but I'll go look it up. So I hope you guys, you sisters, not guys, wow, I don't know where that came from. I hope you sisters have a joyous evening. And I'm going to head back now because I'm a little bit tired. May God be praised.